In this video, we'll look at calculating expected value using the TI graphing calculator. Consider the example. Suppose you work for a life insurance company. A policy for a certain group of individuals costs $500 for the year. If the individual dies, then the policy pays the beneficiary $100,000. The probability that an individual in this group lives through the year is 0 0.99. First, we want to calculate a probability distribution table. In the first column, we'll put the values of the random variable. In the second column, we'll put the probability associated with those. Each row represents an event. We have two events in this scenario, the individual living and the individual dying. The individual lives, the probability is 0.99. When the individual lives, for the life insurance company, this represents a profit of $500 since the premium is paid to the insurance company but no money is paid back out. When the individual dies the probability is 0 0.01. It's because the probabilities must add up to 1. In this case the life insurance company does still take in the $500 but must pay out $100,000 for a total loss of $99,500. To find the expected value, we multiply across in these two rows and then add up. If you have more rows in your table, multiply across in each row and then add up the entire third column. Multiplying 500 and 0.99, we get 495. Multiplying negative 99,500 and 0.01, we get negative. 995. Adding those together, we get negative 500. This is the expected value. Keep in mind the expected value represents a long-term average, so we should qualify by saying in the long run. It also represents a loss, since in this case it's negative. An appropriate interpretation statement would then be that when the premium is $500, the insurance company can expect to lose $500 per policy in the long run. Now the insurance company can adjust these values. The $500, for instance, charged for the policy can be increased charge $1,000. This would result in $990 when we multiply across. The loss from the person dying is no longer $99,500 but now $99,000. And we see that we get negative $990. An expected value of zero represents the company breaking even. So when the premium is 1000 the insurance company can expect to break even. Just say break even in the long run. Again, the policies where the individual dies will be a loss, but the policies where the individual lives will make up for that with profit and it will even out in the long run. Raising it to 1500 we would then lower this to 98500 and we could calculate the new expected value. get a positive 500. 
So when the premium is $1,500, the insurance company can expect to gain or profit approximately $500 per policy. So you see how expected value is calculated and also how we can adjust the values of the random variable to set it to be what we want. Now there is a feature in the calculator to have this automatically done, but I thought it best to show the table method. Um, but if you like, you can hit stat and then enter on edit and put the numbers in the calculator as so. So 500 0 0.99, 0 0.01, and then negative 99,500. Then hit stat, calc, and one variable statistics, and you want the list of numbers in L1 and the frequency list to be L2. You notice that that top number is the expected value. It's the negative 500 from the first time we ran it, since those are the numbers that were used. So this can be used to calculate the expected value as well.